Hello, hello. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get any paparazzi stock photo onto Canva. And it'll take me a minute to get started, so I'm just going to go on here and share this out. The concept is actually quite fast, so if I remember, the training is going to be on my link tree permanently. And I will try to um, say how many minutes in the video teaches just the exact thing because I'm probably going to talk for a few minutes first. So if you're watching the replay, I will have those things available. Um, I'm also going to send this link out to everybody so they know that we are live. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Oh, my computer is being crazy. Um, okay, so let's see. Here we go. Let me get to my messages here and share the video. Um, so welcome to my training. Hello. I will be recording this. So anyway. This is just so cool. And I don't know if you use Canva to make collages, but you're gonna want to <laughs> after you learn this. And I did do a video on using Canva and making collages, so you might wanna watch that because it's pretty fun information. And that's one of the fun parts of the job is making collages um, so that you can post cute jewelry in your social media stories so people can be attracted to your business and maybe shop from you. So we'll talk about that. Um, anyway, so let me go ahead and get this video shared. If you guys want to invite your friends, you totally can. I am super behind on picking winners. I'll just go back one day and do it. So don't count on that anytime soon. I think it's throwing me off a little bit. So, and it's not even required. So, <laughs> all right. Okay, let me mute this here. So I'm going to get to the meat of it in like two minutes. Let me hurry and share this out. Um, let's see. My mind is blank. I need to share this everywhere real quick. So let me do that. While we're waiting, I would love for you to tell me your favorite piece of paparazzi jewelry. Okay, tell me by name, if you know the name. Maybe we'll look up a couple of those for fun when we're doing this. Okay, let's see. Paparazzi Canva trick. Don't miss it. this out. Okay, and then I'm going to share this to my story and stuff. So this part just, it just always takes me a minute. Share to my story. And then I'll go here, share it to That's the wrong one. And then I'm going to share it to my business page. I mean, my group. We'll do an at everyone. Um, let's see. Let me tell one more group here. Okay, so tell me your favorite piece of paparazzi jewelry. And then, almost ready to get started.
<clears throat> All right. This is my, this is where I usually sell jewelry. So I usually stand in front of my trophies and stuff up here. And I've got crowns hiding behind this box. There. I usually stand in front of that. I'm in a chair though, because it's, you know, it's nice <laughs> to sit in a chair. Um, okay, you guys ready? I think, oh, I forgot to share in the most important place, the Teaching Tuesdays alert thing system. And then, um, and then my text alerts. What? How did I forget that? And this is going to be fun. Even if you don't sell paparazzi, you're going to think this is fun. So I would like still listen. Okay. So let me do my, oh my gosh, I forgot these last two places. My text alerts, they're already open right here. And then last is my dysfunctional app. <laughs> if you're my customer and you usually buy jewelry from me, my app notifications work, so I'm still using it. You just can't really buy jewelry there. You want to make sure you go to my website that's listed in my link tree. Okay, so the second I get this done, I will. And this training is going to be short. This isn't very hard to do, but I'm going to tell you guys how to set it up. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now, now I can talk to you. So let me get the video up on my screen just so I can see you better. And let me mute my phone. Turn off the vibration thingy. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? This is super easy to do. You might want to get a pen and paper to write down this code word um, because I'm going to give it to you on the video, but then the code word will also be on my link tree. So there are like four, three or four trainings on my link tree. This will be another one. The one I'm teaching now is, I think, going to be really popular because it's so cool. So that'll be on my link tree. So if you ever need to reference it, I will have it directed to a page. I'll get this video recording put it on the page so that it's all in one place. So if you have any friends who are like, I need to learn that Canva thing with paparazzi, you can send them to my link tree. Okay. All right. So welcome to my training video. I hope everything is going well for you. Let me look at your comments real fast. Say hello to everybody. Oh, hi, Charlotte. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, <clears throat> All right, so here is what we're going to do. When you sell something, you're kind of prompted to make flyers or graphics or whatever, and we see each other doing it. And so if you decide to make graphics about paparazzi stuff, then I did a training video about Canva. Canva is free software. And I'll tell you guys that I used to use Photoshop Elements as a professional, I worked for a photographer just like as an assistant, but um, Photoshop does all the stuff we need. Well, I was using Photoshop forever until they invented Canva and it's canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And it is amazing and it's free for the most part. If you want to upgrade, it's pretty cheap. I have the upgraded version, but regardless, Canva is really cool. and there is a tool in there that you guys are going to love. And this is some, this is like my gift to you. This is not something you can set up by yourself. You have to have me provide it for you. So I wanted to share this with you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> ah, I'm glad you guys are here. So let me tell you a little bit about flyers real quick, because then we'll have a few more people on here when I show the, the magic. Um, and I'm going to flip my screen in a second. So this video, when I advertised this video, I made a little flyer and it's right here. So I'm, oh, no, it's not that one. In fact, I'm on the wrong screen. Let me get to the correct 
share screen. Let's do this. We're going to do a split screen. Okay, and then let me find my Canva. There it is. Okay, so oh, that's the wrong one too. You guys know me, right? I open way too many windows, like way too many. So let me find what I'm looking for. Is it that one? I found it. Okay. Okay. This is, you, you don't even know I'm going to show you. It is so cool. I showed my team, but not all of you guys saw my video. So, um, and I didn't know if uh, a lot of people could use this tool, but I think they can. Okay. So I'm going to flip the screen. This is a flyer. Okay. So this was made on canva.com. If you're not familiar, the best way to get familiar is necessity. Just tell yourself you have to make something and then figure it out. Okay. There are training videos all over YouTube about it if you need them. But I think, you know, like clicking around and guessing is the easiest way to learn. So when I did it, I found this cute template and I clicked it. And all I did was change the words. Super easy. Okay. Now, let me show you tonight's picture. Let's see here. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff. Okay, here's tonight's picture. <clears throat> this is the picture I made for tonight. You guys hopefully saw it. So again, I found this template right here. And then I just added, I changed some of the words. And then I added some paparazzi pictures. Okay. So let me tell you the routine that most of you probably go through. Um, and let me just remind you really quick that this is not a necessary part of the job. I actually don't make that many flyers and because it takes time. But if you find that making graphics like this helps you sell jewelry, then go for it because whatever's going to make you money is what's worth it. Um, I find that stories, posting pictures of sets or the new pieces in your stories is pretty effective. Making an album with your stock photos is pretty effective. Um, putting things together, old and new stuff, is really effective, especially if you want the new stuff to look extra good and the old stuff to be remembered, and then maybe they'll buy some of those. So, um, <laughs> four windows. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many. So, let me refresh, make sure I can see your comments. I think the comments are working fine. Anyway. So we understand why making a collage could be wanted or necessary or whatever. And I'll tell you right now that if you make original graphics, it is way better than just stock photos. Okay. Now we don't all have time to make graphics. So when I post new releases, for example, I just download the file from paparazzi. In fact, let me remind you guys how to do that in case you don't know this. When you place an order, here's my paparazzi website. When you place an order from paparazzi, you can click on profile. You can go to this and scroll top down and hit complete order history. And you can find your order. So here's my today's order. And then I can hit this images button and I can download all the pictures. Okay. And that's effective. It, there's a, there's another way to do it that I think is even better, especially if you want to pull up jewelry that matches and especially if you physically organize your jewelry. So for example, this necklace that came out today, if I wanted to find some Yellowstone jewelry to go with it, I would get this photo and then I would get some other photos from jewelry I have and I would make a collage. So that's what we're going to do right now. Do you guys have any questions? So I'm going to show you this super, super cool thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to flip my screen. Hopefully it's not too wiggly. All right, so let's say I'm going to make a story of a set of jewelry. So we're going to go here and make a story. Instagram and Facebook are owned by the same people. So the dimensions are the same, I think. So now we have a blank slate to make a cute collage okay and I would honestly guys don't get wrapped up in this if time is important to you 
I mean, if you enjoy this and this is like relaxing, go for it. But if time is a big deal, just copy something else from here. So I'm going to go down and I'm just going to find one. Like I like that purple background. So I'm going to click it. Okay. And then I'm just going to erase some stuff. I'm going to put my website. Actually, that handwriting is too hard to read. So we're going to use this square one here. And I'm going to just put my website. Now there's more to it, right? You guys can like put your own real website and stuff, but I just want to show you this picture thing. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna say words like cute set or something. And again, when you have an original graphic, it's really hard to read, isn't it? When you have an original graphic, it's better for your algorithm than copycat graphics, just, just so you guys know. Okay, that's much easier to read. So we'll just make it big. Okay. All right, this is ready for some pictures, okay? Here's the magic. Let me show you what I can, actually I uninstalled it so I can teach you guys how to install it, okay? So here's the meat of the information. We are going to be able to grab paparazzi photos without uploading them, okay? So normally what you would do is you would click upload, you would click upload files, and then you would have to grab, you know, the 40 pictures from your order or whatever. We're not gonna do that. We are instead gonna click on apps. You got here just in time, this is the main thing. And then click on just, it's already on Discover. Type in Shopify. And it's right here. And it says Shopify Sync. You're going to click on Open. Okay. This is my Shopify that I'm sharing with you. So I'm going to ask you to do this a certain way. This is like a gift for you. This is like a favor. So please do this the way I ask. Just put your number, your consultant ID, and then your name like that. Your consultant ID and then your name. Okay. Because I don't know that, you know, a thousand people can use it at once, but I think you can. It's all computers. But if something goes wrong, then I can at least contact you and say, sorry, or whatever. <laughs> and then here's the code. So screenshot this or write it down. If you share this with your teams, I prefer you give them the link tree. So all you guys here live, go ahead and copy that code right there. And then hit connect Shopify store. And it says, that was easy, write a review. And you can do that if you want. I'm gonna close this. And now check this out. We are gonna go to our... Where did it go? Right here. Now we're going to go to apps, Shopify sync, and every paparazzi piece that ever existed is here. And you can search by name. You cannot search by bar barcode yet because it looks at the title. But if I'm bored one weekend, I will add the barcode in so that it works that way. But for now, it's just the name of the jewelry. So let me look at one of your um, one of your comments of your favorite piece and let's pull that up. <clears throat> you don't need Shopify. It's using my Shopify. I'm sharing my Shopify with you guys. Um, I do use the paid version. Yes. Okay. What's one of your pieces that you wrote down? Oh, now I can't scroll up. That's okay. We'll do, we'll do this piece that's in, in this box right here. It's called Glamorously, oh my goodness, Glamorously Garnished Silver. Okay, let's type that in. Oh, whoops, I wasn't clicked in. Hold on.
and it'll bring up the other colors too, but I can just pick out the silver one and there they are. So now I can get the photo, whichever one I want. And boom, is this the coolest thing you've ever seen? I want to review the rules about using paparazzi stock, stock photos, but let me show you what I'm going to do next. These are, okay, we know the name. So I want to show you a trick. You can then go to my website, which is hotseatotsy.com. Now, you're not going to do this every day. Otherwise, you could just download the pictures from me. So whatever you want to do. But I'm going to search for that piece of jewelry we just posted. So we'll pretend this was just released today. Okay. And here's the piece of jewelry. If I go look at the description here, I can read Marquis Hematite. Those are the words I like. And then that it's silver. So now I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to find some matching jewelry. You guys, most of you guys will do this like physically, like you'll just look in your box of jewelry and find something. I just happen to have all my stuff on my website. So now I'm going to look that up and look, now I can find matching pieces of jewelry. So now I have serving up sparkle. If you guys want to use my website, you can just click this button here and it will download the pictures if you want, and then you would upload them to Canva. See, it just downloaded them, but we're, we're teaching this. So it's called Serving Up Sparkle. So now we go back and we're going to type it in. Oh, there's a couple colors. We're going to do the green one. I mean, the silver one. Okay, so now I've got my cute set. And then if I wanted to, I could find a necklace or something. So basically you can make your cute little collages way faster, especially if you have the jewelry in front of you and just pull up the name and then you don't have to search for everything in the world. Just because we're here, I'm going to go see if there's a necklace. There's one. Come at me, it's called. So go type it in. I feel like I'm so wiggly. Sorry, I have to hold this with my hands. There must be a lot of things with those words in it. Let's type in silver and see if that helps. I wonder if we put it in quotes if it will help. Let's test it right now. Nope, quotes isn't isn't what we want. Okay, let me just see if I can find this real quick. It does go in order from old to new, just so you guys know. I don't know why, but there it is though, down here, this one. Okay, so we've got that pretty silver necklace. And now I've got this set that I can highlight. These are all for sale, by the way, if anybody's like dying because they love it. Okay, here are the rules. And then I could download this picture and play it, put it on my story. You can use this on your phone. The app feature right here, apps, Shopify sync is how you access it. You can use it on your phone, even on the Canva app, okay? And then you just download it. The rules about making collages are you cannot cover that little tiny paparazzi logo. See that little logo in the corner? They're in all the pictures. The clip-ons and chokers and stuff have another logo on the other side. So just pay attention to the logo so you don't cover them up. Otherwise, you can make collages. Do not make collages out of the Z collection. That's not allowed. Okay? All right. Isn't this cool? Um, yes, you can put necklaces. So anything that's on my website, you can put. So whatever's in the title, it will look for it. Okay. That's why I think I'm going to add the barcode to all the titles one day soon. Because wouldn't it be nice to scan the barcode and you only have to type. So it's awesome. Okay. Well, that's, that's the main gig. That's what I wanted to teach you guys. So I wanted to see if you have any questions. Um, okay. Yeah, this is cool. The Shopify code is going to be in my link tree. In fact, I'm going to do that right now while we're talking and see if there's any other questions. So um, 
I already have created a Shopify blog page with this information. And when we're done, I'll put the video on there. And so it will be up like a half hour after on my link tree. And my link tree is on all my bios, link in bio, you know, and um, it's on the pinned comment as well. So check that soon and I'll get you all the information in there. Um, let me find it right here. Okay. Save. It's already saved. Visibility, visible, save. The video won't be there, but I'm going to post it right now. View. Copy. And then let me just put it in my link tree right now. Edit. Okay, it's there. So if you click my link tree, it'll take you to the code. It's the very first one. Oh, hold on. Let me refresh the page and make sure it's working. <laughs> And I'll, I'll go over this again if we have a different group of people of what I'm doing. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There's the code. Okay, it's there. All right. Hi, guys. Thanks for being here. So if you don't sell paparazzi, it's still fun to play around with those pictures. Like if you want to make your own sets for fun, print up some photos. I don't know. There's some pretty cool stuff you can do. Um... Okay, you're welcome. Do you can you put the color or do you need the name? You can put a color, but you're gonna get ten thousand pieces of jewelry coming up. So the book the more specific, the better. And it searches the titles of the names. And on my website, the titles of the names have the color. Um I think I think men's say men's and lanyards says lanyards and clip-ons say clip-ons but barcodes don't work. So you have to pretty much have the name for now. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yes, you're welcome. Let's see. Oh, it keeps repeating the comments. Hold on. Isn't this neat? So somebody, some stranger made this app and I'm like, what happens if I hook up my Shopify store? And then what happens if someone else does? Fine. It totally works. Okay, you're welcome. Um, I don't think mine say urban. Let me check just for fun. Let's see. Refresh. It's whatever the title says the paparazzi gives us. So I actually don't think it says urban. We'll type in urban and see what it says. Yeah, there's some that come in here. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yep. So whatever they have in their title would show up. Okay. Do you have to have Shopify to get? Nope. Not at all. So let me review. Every consultant, even non-consultants can use this. Yep. This is just my gift to you guys. So let me show you again what it is that I'm using. The installation was on the other, you know, a couple minutes ago. So you can rewatch the video. So what I'm doing here is... I'm making a collage and if I have a piece of jewelry I want in this collage then I just need the name. These earrings would go real well with the eagle. <laughs> and these are called Petaled Pageant. And so we just type in Petaled Pageant. Oh, I put two T's. Hold on. And there they are and then I click it and it there you go no need to go download a million pictures you can only get what you're using however you want to do it and then you can make collages isn't that fun so you have to do it this way it uses your canva account and my Shopify and the code I gave you we're all gonna use my Shopify cool huh um no, I think I saw Helen. You're good. Yeah, everybody can use it. Do you guys have any questions? So I think this is a great tool. I was like, like so excited when I figured this out. And um, 
my team and I tested it to make sure multiple people can use it. Multiple people can use it. Okay, that's it. That's what I'm going to show today. Um, I have a few minutes. If you guys want to talk about anything else, just let me know. Um, I'll be making a reel about this so that it's easier and then it'll link to my link tree. So I'll make a condensed version of it. The code is on my link tree. So if you click on link tree, my link tree, it's the first button and the code is there. And if you don't know how to use it, I will post this video or maybe I'll make the reel first. I'll make the reel how to do it. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but it'll be there in the link tree. Okay. And you can rewatch this video too. Cool, huh? So yay. Well, that's it. I think I'm going to go because it's summer. I'll talk to you guys later and I will be here on my teaching Tuesday again. If any of you guys are my customers, just while I have you here, thanks for being patient. I am not using my app to sell anymore. I'm selling on Facebook and hotsytotsy.com. And if you go to hotsytotsy.com and log in, you can build a cart just like you could on my app. So make sure you're logged in and it'll give you a seven day timer so you can shop all week. Um, I do pay for my Canva. Um, I don't know if you can use the app for free or not. I haven't tested it. I think I will look into that right now and find out. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, at the very beginning, if making collages aren't your thing, don't, don't find a new hobby of, if you don't have time for that. But if you do enjoy making collages, this will save you a ton of time. Okay. All right. Okay. You guys have a really good day. Talk to you later.